Very good day. So, part plate number one. This for our plate number one. The first step, the first step you're going to do is first you create your, your layer. For our first layer, we'll name it as paper. And then the color will be white. So there's no need for us to change the line type and the line weight. Okay. Then you can uh, just auto hide or close the layer. The first you'll have to activate the paper. Then close. And then what we're going to do now is to first make the paper using the command polyline. For our polyline, first we'll have to activate the order mode of the auto hide. So the size will be 29,700. So type 29,700. Enter. And then, as you can see, there's no enough space. So first you'll have to escape first the rotocad screen and you type regeneration. Okay. Then type again regeneration. Then delete the line. Okay, again, type polyline. Type 29,700 for the paper line. And then for the height of the paper, will be 21,000. Enter. Another 29,700. Enter. And then close. So once you're done with the paper, let us now proceed to the next layer. You type LA. And then you click new layer. And then you type border. So let's we'll create a layer for border. The color of the border will be yellow with yellow then okay and then you change the line weight to 0.80 okay then don't forget to activate the layer then close the layer window next is to offset the paper line to create the border line so the space between the border line to the paper line is 1000. Offset, type offset, enter, then you type 1000, enter. And then you click this one towards inside the paper. The next thing to do is to click the line and then you change the property. So to the properties and then we go to the layer change the layer then go to the border then close the property the next thing to do is to explode this one because we are going to create the title up so type x for explode enter you click the board you click the border Enter. Next is we will offset this one by 2000 for our title block. Offset, type 2000, enter. Click upward. Next, we'll be using again the offset, type O, and then type 1000. Again, type offset, type 1000, enter. Okay, this one. Next is we'll upset this one for us to create the first title block, the second, the third, and then the fourth and fifth title block. For our first title block, we will upset it by 5000. Type O, then type 5000. Enter. Click this one. And then the second title block, which is the title of the plate, will offset it by 7000. Offset, type 7000. And then for the name, the name of the teacher, will offset both by 6000. Offset, 
6,000. Next is, we're going to trim for us to create the title block. So you type TR, enter, and then use the cross and selection, enter, and then you delete an SR line. So you can just click it once, or you can use the cross and selection. Okay. So that will be our borderline and for our title block. So the next thing to do is we'll be having the text inside the title block. So first we'll be using the text style Roman S. In setting for the new style for our text, we will type ST and then we will click new. And then we will uh, rename it as Roman S. Click this one, and then you type or you find the specified font name Roman S. And then set current, you click yes, then close. So for the first text, we'll be having Sonon High School, your high school. So what we're going to do for us to type the text is we will type dt okay then you click justify or j and then of course this uh, is our the justification so you click the middle center you can just type mc and then autocad will say specified middle point of text so what you're going to do here is to type mtp enter then you click the first point, second point, and then it will say specify height. For so for the height, we'll type 600. And then of course, situate that your angle or rotation angle should be zero. Enter. And then you type San Juan High School or Senior High School. Before I forget, you have to set your layer for text. So you type uh, text, and then the color of the text is red. Okay, and then activate the text. Okay, so I'll just change the properties to text. Okay. Of course, magkikita natin na mag-question sa high school. So, what we're going to do is to change the width factor to 0.7. So, type here, 0.7, enter. So, magkikita natin, nag-fit na yung uh, text sa loob ng uh, sa high school or sa loob ng uh, title block. Ang susunod na gagawin ay sa loob natin, no? we type dt again. Type J for justify, then type middle center, and then type MPP. Click the first point, second point. Okay. Next is first specify text height 600. You just have to enter, and then rotation angle is zero. Then you type technical drafting. Again, tulad na ginawa na sa Salon Hanko Senior High School, we will change the width factor. So for this one, the width factor is 0.5. Enter. Okay. The next is the name of the student. Okay. So for the name of the student, so we will use the same uh, same style. So type natin ang uh, command dt. And then, 
we use the justify then middle center again then for us to get the center we have it to type middle between two points or MTT we click the first point and then the second point so 600 pa rin ang height natin and turn na lang natin and then rotation angle is 0 huh? sa pangalan tapos the name is 1H Belacruz enter and then for this one we just have to adjust the width factor until such time na mag-fit siya sa loob no? so we'll try here 0.6 okay so 0.6 will do so it depends upon do sa haba ng pangalan mo for the next one so probably pwede natin copy ito no since para lang naman sila ng uh, width or length. So, type natin CO. We just have to copy the text. And then, so, pwede yan. For as long as pare-pareho yung no? yung ano niya. Yung tinatawag na haba ng uh, title block. So, this one, we change to it to your section. Sample, you are 11 Picasso. And then, so this one, the name of your teacher, yours truly. And then, the name or the position. Okay? So like for example, the camera is tayo, no? Double click lang. Then click using the mouse. Then backspace, enter. So for the with factor, so check natin, dapat lahat ito 0.6. Okay, so 0.6. So this one, the name Picasso, the name of the teacher, the teacher should be 0.6. So let us now move to the plate number and the date. So type again DT. And then, uh, type justify or J. You can, you can also click this one. And then, pwede natin i-click din to. And then you type MTP for meet between two points. So click this one, click this one, and then huh? the height is 600, rotation angle is 0. Then type plate number 0. One. Right click, change the properties. Okay, the properties for this one is also 0.6, just like the first text. So, since paro lang naman ng uh, length nito, we just type CO, and then copy na lang natin sa ilalim. Double click, and then you type the date kung kailan yung papas. Example, papas siya sa today, the type October 17, 2023. Okay, so ito class, tsaka ito, para-para lang naman yan. So, the different, ang different dito yung uh, ating uh, title block, or yung title na mismo, plate. Okay? So, for this one, since parang hindi para ng textile, we will again type ST. And then, we will click new. And then, for this one, it will be Swiss 721BT for the style name. We click OK, and then we click space 721BT, and then you change the font name. So, natin natin yung uh, Swiss 721BT. Siya. Okay, you click this one. You set current. Okay. Close. So, let us now move to the, let us now move to the title of the plate. So, the title of the plate. So again, kanina ginawa natin yung uh, text time. So type natin yung DT. Then type justify. Then middle center. And then type MPP. So first point of mid. The second point of mid. And then type the height of the text. Which is 700. And then rotation angle is 0. Then, na lang. then type the title of the plate. Okay. So, 
So we are done with our plate number one. So what we are going to do next now is for us to uh, have the print review for this one. Okay. So how to set the print review? So type Control P, and then you find the printer. Nagagamit natin the previous one, Epson 360. Paper size is A4. Tama yan. And then you click display. You go to window. And then click the first point. And then second point. Then apply to layout. Don't forget this one. Then check if the print review is okay. So as you can see, di pa tama yung print review natin. Nakatayo yung uh, paper. So let us make it landscape. Apply to layout. And then check it again. Again, hindi siya nakasakto. Let us make it center of the plot. And then change the plot style to monochrome. Okay. Apply to layout. Ah. So, nakasenter na sa halos. But the problem is, there's a space between the paper and then to the paper itself. Dito. So, let us go to the properties of Epson L360. And then, we go to the modify standard paper sizes printable area and then we go to A4 modify so change all of this to 0 so gagawin ito pag magprint na kayo no? so, sa ating uh, printing area then rename this one just put plate 0 1 then finish and then ok save changes to the following file ok and then apply to layout. Then, let us check if tama siya. Okay. So, that's all for our plate number one. So, ang next na gagawin natin yan is don't forget to save your file. Okay. In saving our file, to type control S. And then, you go to your desktop. And then, you find the technical drafting folder and then you find your section example that is Picasso okay and then you type your name first your surname then your first name then plate Number one. Then you click. Yeah. Then control us again. And then you close your auto file. Then, so pag close ng auto file, you first close the first window. And then this one. So, magkita natin, no? So, dito sa ating uh, technical driving folder, dapat nandito siya. 11 Picasso. So, dito siya. Then, may tayo back, back of file dito sa taas. So, I'll try to open it. Ganasa kung save na. Double click the file. Dapat DWG file siya. Okay. Yeah. So, nakita natin, nasave naman siya. No? So, that's all for our plate number one. So, stand by for our plate number two tutorial video.